Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday. Post the Brexit vote. We all know what happened. Uh, with the vote cable went lower. Now it's come higher. Perfect doji on the day. Uh, if you believe in candlesticks like I do, doji basically means indecision. For those of you who are who are not really followers uh, of candlesticks. Uh, opens and closes where it, it begins. The tail, the big tail and the downside gives you a bit of a bullish bias, but in, it, in, it, in, its, in its pure form it just means indecision. It doesn't mean bullish, it doesn't mean bias, and now we're waiting for confirmation. The doji becomes bullish if we break through the highs, it becomes bearish if we break through the lows. Um, so, something to consider from a pure technical perspective. From a price action perspective, it's bullish. Um, it went up way easier than it went down. Obviously, with the big loss in the vote, um, it went down first, but then you, you just saw it. Like, the right-hand side was in control um, the whole time. Here we are, 128.60. Um, We've got CPI today, and we've got Carney speaking today. So this is a uh, this is a weird one. Carney's obviously going to be dovish. Um, I don't think CPI can come in hot, but pff, it could, I guess. I don't know. The currency's so low, um, it might come in hotter uh, than we think. The way we're treating this is, uh, you know, we kept it incredibly light yesterday. Which is a shame because we we had uh, we did get it right, uh, as is often the case, isn't it? Um, we're going to continue to keep it light. This now is becoming massively important. One twenty nine twenty seven. Every CTA in the world who has the balls to trade this, uh, which are a lot fewer of them, to be fair, with a manager this past weekend, and he just said to me, you know, I you can't shift even a hundred quid. no point in leaving a stop for 200 or 300 or 400 pounds anywhere within 200 points of the market. You're just going to get jammed. We were talking a little bit about this. So he just doesn't even trade it anymore. Um, so it's something to keep in mind that a lot of the big players are not trading this or are just trading it through options. Um, so anyway, uh, 129.27, very, very important point in cable. Uh, we'll be getting long if we close, if we get through that and looking for an hourly close and then a daily close through that level if it breaks. So we're treating it as an old fashioned break trade. We will be picking up cable today uh, between 127.90 and 128.60 here. Again, uh, dipping our toes in. We're not bringing the house down uh, size wise. You got to keep wider parameters with this stuff uh, and really got to keep a close eye on it obviously because it's, it's news, news, news. I won't go into the vote later today and the, and the complications. A lot of the uh, UK houses are having conference calls. Uh, they start in 40 minutes. We'll be on that call and I will hit you guys at Twitter if I hear anything uh, interesting from uh, supposedly big boys in London. Let's move on. Euro uh, took a bath yesterday, and it really looks like it's turned. The news is bad in Europe. Uh, growth is screwed. Germany is screwed. Boons are through the roof and just hanging around at the highs. I don't see any reason for uh, Euro dollar to go charging north. I also don't see any reason for it to collapse today either, so we're expecting sort of a rangy day. I think you can sell it above 25, between 25 and 40, um, and that's kind of your play here, uh, euro dollar. When 14.08, if you're square, you just there's no point in getting involved here. It's it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Crude went bid again yesterday, which was weird. Big point is uh, 
we talked about it a lot. There was big real money offers at 29 up there. We'll have to take a look uh, and see if there's any resting real money stuff up there again. If there isn't, of course, there will be stops above that level. All crude traders, anyone who follows crude regularly saw those orders. Um, and so there will be stops now above 153.30. Gunlock was babbling about treasuries and, and the issuance of debt this year, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is a long-term deal. I wrote kind of sarcastically for the next 10 years, just sell high ones on the T-bond futures. This is the long bond. We are core short. We'll kind of always be core short, I think, um, at some level. We're looking to get short. The reason I bring it up today is because now we have this sort of technical setup here. This is going to be considered a head and, a head and shoulders. The neckline's 145.01. We've been dilly-dallying down here on the low 145s. Um, you know, we're looking for that close and move below 145. The low from the 11th was 145. The figure, the low from the 10th was 144.30. This is now a technical pattern that will be watched. If you do trade long bonds, uh, obviously keep an eye on this. A lot of you I know trade it on the basis side. Um, but if you're a technical trader, the story is, is pretty clear. You want to be short this stuff. Um, have a look at this. And if you don't trade them, don't trade them. If you're just an FX guy, especially if you're a new FX person, please don't start trading bonds. Um, cost of tuition uh, will be expensive. It always is. Let's go. Uh, let's go to equities. We're sitting here patiently waiting. Uh, 26, 19 and a half. We had some ups and some downs yesterday. In the end, we ended up. Um, but uh, we really like this sort of uh, 26, 20 sell area. Uh, so we're still waiting for this. Maybe today. And then we'll be a forced seller if for some reason we get below 2580. So our bias is left. We're patiently waiting. We will be forced to get involved in this uh, with prices below 2580. And that will also be bearish engulfing on the day. It seems a bit far fetched. Um, but just throwing that out there because you have to look at all eventualities. The rest of FX uh, looks pretty quiet. Dollar yen right kind of in the middle here. We're in the sideways motion. Uh, dollar CAD to the top of its range, not reacting too much to, to crude. Aussie waiting. All the action yesterday, well, the proper action was in Euro, left hand side. Uh, and then the craziness was in cable yesterday. We're expecting more craziness in cable uh, in the coming days. And like I said, after these conference calls, which begin uh, in 30 minutes, I will uh, sort of give you the cliff notes on Twitter. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go and get ready for these calls, and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao.